Hello everyone, this is Nick with 1UP Games, where we make games easy. In this video, we're going to go over Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics. We'll be reviewing it, and we're also going to go over the huge summer game sale that's happening on the eShop. So this game, Toy Baseball, is one of the 51 games, and it's pretty fun, except for when you play online. Then it's a hit or miss, no pun intended, if you get a good internet connection with somebody and the game runs smoothly. If not, it will probably be really miserable for you, like it was for me. But this game is fun when it runs smoothly. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my new subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys, thank you guys so much. Air Hockey. This game's pretty fun. I'm not sure if you can use the Joy-Con. I'm pretty sure you can. I just use the Pro Controller. And you can maneuver the paddle around. And the puck goes pretty smoothly. The physics on this game is pretty much what you would expect of an air hockey game. Here's another fun little game. It reminds me of the slot car games in Mario Party 2. Talking about Mario Party, uh, so the developer who developed this game also developed Super Mario Party, which we know we haven't seen any DLC or any new content since release. So I'm assuming they were working hard on this, and now they might be working on a Super Mario Party 2? Question mark? Toy Boxing. Toy Boxing is kind of like a sumo game. Not exactly, you just have to knock your opponent out of the ring. Counts as a KO. So game 37, Toy Soccer. It's pretty fun. It's not my favorite toy game that's on this list, but it takes us a little bit to get the hang of. So you get three different, my bad, two different, um, 45 second timers on here. So this game does take a little bit of time. And sometimes you'll score on yourself. But that's alright. Better luck next time. Darts. So this is one of the couple games on here that actually makes you use the Joy-Con. You need it for the motion control. There's no way to play this game with the Pro Controller, as far as I know. It won't let me. I was uh, filming this at my desk, so I'm not too accurate, but I'm getting pretty close to the bullseye. Make sure you hold it vertically instead of horizontally, just like it shows. Otherwise, you're not going to throw your dart as well. It won't aim as good as if you hold it vertically. Trust me, I tried holding it horizontally to see if I got a better shot. This game has eight rounds, so it does take a little bit of time, but if you both shoot when you're supposed to, it goes pretty fast. Bowling. So this bowling game couldn't possibly take the spot ahead of Wii Bowling, and that's crazy to say. I know, because Wii Bowling was amazing, but the way this bowling ball moves, it's so smooth, and it's just nice. I just wish they had means that you could be on this game. But unfortunately, they do have kind of like a me thing. They have like these little toys you can be. You can change the hair color and the skin tone. That's pretty good, I guess. 
Again, I'm filming this at my desk, so I don't have the best uh, reach of to bowl. So it's kind of difficult. But this game is fun, and especially since you can only you can do um, as low as five um, frames, which goes pretty fast. Chinese Checkers is a game that I'm very excited to see on here since I used to play Chinese Checkers a lot when I went camping, so it holds a very special place in my heart. This game, basically you just want to hop over any uh, checker piece on the board and try to string up some hops so you can get all your pieces to the end at first. I know you see me going one by one, but there's strategy involved in that as well. Alright, so let me tell you guys. This game is a must buy, two thumbs up, if, especially if you like party games and you're going to spend time playing with friends and family, or even if you just want to play online or against the computers by yourself. It's uh, a fun game and I mean, it's, it's worth the value. 40 bucks and you get 51 different games. Even if you don't like all the games on here, I'm sure there's going to be some games that you'll spend hours on that will make this $40 worth it. Some of the games have like knockoff titles like this is Dots and Boxes. I thought it was called Squares growing up. I don't know what you guys called it. And then I know Connect Four is like um, four in a row or something. So there's a few games with some knockoff names because I think they might be copyright. So. They definitely don't want to have to share any sort of profits, which makes sense. But the games themselves aren't knockoffs at all. They are the full-fledged game. So Dots and Boxes is a game of strategy, but unfortunately, I guess, or fortunately enough, at least I didn't lose the computer, but we did just draw. They even got card games on here. So if you don't like cleaning up cards, this is awesome. Unfortunately, they don't have every card game that you probably want to play, but they have a lot of fun ones. I don't know if you guys noticed the two stars in the corner on the right is the difficulty. He's on hard right now. And so the computer do, does get a lot harder every time you go up a difficulty, which is nice. It's refreshing because then if easy is too, or normal is too easy for you, then hard might do it. But there's no difficulty in war because war is just a game of luck. So yes, definitely buy this game. It's worth the value, 100%. That brings us to the summer game sale, which started on the 9th and is gonna end on the 16th. Mario U Deluxe, Mario Tennis, both for $41.99, Dooms $29.99, Captain Toad Treasure Trackers only $27.99, yes, awesome titles, Flower Emblem Warriors $41.99, Dragon Quest Builders, all these good games on sale, Snipper Clippers is another great multiplayer game, if you want to play with somebody, I recommend it, it's only $13.99. This could be dangerous, guys. Skyrim's only $29.99. I know it's an old game, but hey, it's a good price right now. Same with Wolfenstein 2. Even Overwatch is at $20. And Witcher 3 is at $41.99. That's like one of my favorite series outside of Nintendo. Cuphead. Cuphead is $14.99. That's a recommended buy. Same with Mario Rabbids, $14.99. Yes, please, buy that game. I bought it on Mario Day for the same price but I got a physical Dragon Ball Z fighter Dragon Ball fighter Z 1499 recommend buying that 
Golf Story for $7.49. Yes, please. I do recommend buying that as well. Very fun to play with friends and family. Okami is another great game. You can play that game for $9.99. It came out on the Wii, I believe. And it's been coming out in almost every system since. Yeah, make sure to check out those games. A lot of things to think about. A lot of dangerous prices because it might burn a hole in your pocket. But this has been Nick with 1UP Games where we make games easy. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload future videos.